take you to a higher intelligence world. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Mr. Richard Yu, CEO of Huawei Consumer Business Group. I know that you guys are waiting for this year's the product. Today we will bring the most powerful and intelligent mate ever. This is a Huawei. This is Huawei Mate 10 and Mate 10 Pro. Thank you. We bring your exquisite design, the ultimate performance, and remarkable photography, and also with intelligent experience. Let's first look at our design. <clears throat> our design inspired by the desire, our human being's desire. We introducing the iconic four-point design on this phone. And this four-point design, we also inspired by luxury sports car, the uh, headlamp, the four-point four design. I remember that uh, over one and a half years ago, our design team bring this uh, design idea to me. And uh, we, we, among the several uh, candidates, we selected this one. <clears throat> And this screen of this phone is a Mate 20. This one we are using the more wide screen. You can see that 6.53 inch four color display RGBW. The four color RGBW instead of three color, we dramatically increase the brightness of this uh, display. Uh, when you use this phone in the outdoor, uh, it's low power consumption and also much higher brightness. The brightness we can reach to your 820 nits. And more importantly, this is a much achieve, you can achieve much lower power consumption. And even when in the indoor, we're using, watching the wet, or all the white background, uh, the internet, the social, uh, Facebook, all the white background, the power consumption is much lower. And the display of this screen, the ratio is 18.7 to 9, the more wide screen. So the, the area, the display area of this phone is very, quite large. <coughs> And the Mate 20 Pro, we are using another type of screen. It's an OLED screen. It's a more higher resolution. But this phone is using a curved, curved display, OLED display. And the display ratio is 19.5 to 9. It's more slim. And also, this have more higher color saturation and contrast ratio with the OLED display technology. And also, we're using the in-screen uh, the fingerprint on the Mate 20 Pro. This is uh, we're introducing 10, 10 level of dynamic pressure sensing. With this uh, dynamic pressure sensing, and uh, we can avoid the misoperation of the to unlock the phone. And also, we uh, unlock speed also increased 30 percent compared with the last generation. <clears throat> So with this in-screen fingerprint, you can fully use this uh, screen, the maximum view you can get. And uh, today we're introducing very interesting new things. You know that um, in the past we're using the micro SD card to expand the memory storage of, uh, for the smartphone. You know the, the micro SD card was invented 15 years ago. Today we invented the new uh, memory storage, the nano memory card. It's a very interesting number, 45% smaller than the micro SD card. And how it, you, you can use it? Let's see. In the Mate 20 and Mate 20 Pro, we have the, a dual SIM card. And at a SIM card slot, you can install either a SIM card or a nano memory card. So it's, uh, 
it's a very unique design. It's a, I think that the industry will build a new standard for the expandable memory. You have a dual SIM card or one SIM card with one the nano memory card to expand storage. <coughs> And you know, these phones uh, that we, we uh, in the mid 20 and mid 20, we have dual speaker. But you see that where is the speaker, how know the hole for the speaker, but how can the sound come out? We, the very smart designs, the, the sound come out from the, the USB type C, the jack from this. So we hide uh, this. Uh, <laughs> and mid 20, we achieved, uh, we support. IP53, to so give your smartphone more protection. <coughs> so ladies and gentlemen, this is Mate 20 and Mate 20 Pro. Each one have five color for your selection. Each one five color. Give you more choice. <coughs> you know, the Mate series always bring you a strong performance. Let's see that in the Mate 20, we install the latest 7 nanometer QV980 chipset. This QV980 is the made the industry the most powerful and intelligent SOC chipset. We have the latest generation, the ARM CPU, and the latest generation, the GPU, and the, the most powerful dual AI processor. And also, we have the fastest modem in this world, the LT uh, CAT21 modem. And also have support of fast Wi-Fi, and also the fast uh, DDR RAM support. So all the spec is the industry the highest one. In these chips, is a very high den density, high um, with a high performance. So you can see that in this generation, the chipset which dramatically increase the performance. The CPU and GPU and NPU, the performance dramatically improved. But more importantly, the power consumption is much lower with the power efficiency improvement. The CPU have 58% improvement, but the GPU and the NPU, the power efficiency is much higher improvement. Uh, you know, this the power efficiency is the key for the smartphone because of the power consumption, the battery life are always the most headache things for today's smartphone. <clears throat> with this high performance, and we can achieve the highly responsive engagement. When you input, make input when you touch the screen, you launch your apps, or you can achieve the super fast speed and a smooth operation. Today, we also bring the wireless charger on the Mate 20 Pro. Wireless charger, 15 watt wireless charger. Sometimes you take your iPhone, your iPhone is run out of battery. How can you charge that? You forgot to take the charger. You're very interested. You can use Huawei Mate 20 Pro to charge that. We support the world of first. <laughs> we support the world of first. Why is rewards charge? You can use the Huawei Mate 20 Pro to charge other devices. And also, we bring the super fast connectivity. You can let's um, see that we support LT the four four and a half G. Uh, we support 1.4 gigabit super fast speed, near 40 percent faster than the other phones. 40 percent faster. <clears throat> and also, not only we have support fast speed, but also we have strong signal, and in the, especially in the weak signal area, we have much better antenna performance. You can see. We achieved 120% antenna performance compared with other phones. <laughs> Thank you. You know that uh, today, almost the, most of the people they are using location service for the navigation, uh, for the checking, and everything. And uh, for Huawei the Mate 20 series, we support dual frequent band GPS. We not only support L1, but we also support L5. With this dual frequency band, we can make, you, make the GPS accuracy increase roughly 10, ta 10 times uh, more accuracy. <clears throat> so let's, I have a video to show you our comparison of it. Uh, let's see. <clears throat>
achieved a very accurate the check. We bring the new technology for the camera system, the revolutionary matrix camera system for from the mid 20. Let's see the, the camera system. The mid 20, and we introducing the the ultra wide angle, the 16 millimeters, uh, the ultra wide angle lens. And also we have the wide angle, the 27 millimeters, the, F, uh, the large aperture, the sensor. And also we have you introducing a very large pixel, over 1.55 micrometer, the big pixel sensor, which can achieve the low light condition, the very good quality. And also we have about 2x tele lens, that's a megapixel. On the Mi 20 Pro, we're using the same sensor as the P20 Pro, the 14 megapixel, the wide angle 27 millimeter. And the ultra wide angle lens will use 20 megapixel. And we support 3x, three times uh, tele lens is megapixel. By this sophisticated the matrix camera system, we can together, working together this, we can achieve the remarkable uh, camera experience. Let's see the size of this sensor. You can see that we are using much bigger sensor. 125% larger than the other sensors. Because much larger, the sensor is the key for the low light condition of photo photography. By this leading technology, Huawei Mate 20 Pro, we can uh, reach the very high light sensitivity. We can reach over 100,000 ISO. <laughs> Low light without flashlight is just 0 0.5 lux. We, without flash, we can take the photo, this flower. You can see that. <laughs> and in the evening, at the low light, you can see that the other phones you almost see nothing. Can take nothing, but we can take a, take a good picture. <laughs> Thank you. Ah, this photo was taken the day before yesterday evening by my colleague in London. You can see that in the evening, you just handheld these phones. You can see that we, we can take a very good quality uh, photo. The other phones, you very dark, uh, a lot of noise. And with AIS, you know, AI imaging stabilizer, you can see that we can do in the evening the photo, you can see also very good quality. You know, that's in some high definition, high uh, dynamic the light range area. It's very difficult to take good uh, photo. Sometimes uh, the, if you make the ghost face the clear, but the background will be very dark. So that's if you either overexposure or underexposure. By we can maximum to take, take maximum 10 frames simultaneously by compare, uh, by compose this 10 frame together, we can get the best photo. You can see this ghost, the photo, is face clear and background also very clear. Your super HDR technology. And also, you know, this goes as sit against the window, so it is very difficult to take this kind of photo. So we can take very good quality. You can see we can take more detail. And also we can take some personalized bokeh effect, like this heart effect. The background, the light, we can change that to heart. <laughs> Hot. <laughs> That's the look, look thing. So it's very interesting. I bring more fans to, to. And also we can even can take this uh, the swirl effect, uh, this bokeh photo. You can see this, the background, the light is a swirl. <clears throat> and also in building, you can see that we can take the, the more wide area. <clears throat> Typically the phones, can take a photo like this, but with Huawei's ultra wide angle on the mid 20, we can take a photo like this. <laughs> and uh, typically, you know that this is a photo taken in London, 
with this wide angle, we can take more. We can see the real one. You can see that in London. <laughs> this photo, we, we can see the white rainbow, right? But with this wide, wide, ultra wide angle uh, lens, a camera system, we can see two rings of the rainbow. You can see that <laughs> more wide area. And this, we can take, you know, panorama photo like this in London in the evening. You can see that's with the Mate 20 Pro. And also, this is also taken by the Huawei Mate 20. Uh, and also, with this ultra wide angle, you can take some more interesting photos like this. It's both. You also can take some interesting photo like this, the cute perspective photo. <coughs> oh, sorry. You know that uh, today we also can help you to take uh, the photo more closer, as closer as 2.5 centimeters. You know, many people like this the, the, the camera, professional camera, they have the Micro, uh, micro model uh, for the capture. <coughs> so we can achieve this. Let's see. Uh, five centimeter, even to 2.5 centimeter. We can, it can help you to take more detail, more details. I want to show you more, like this. More detail, you can see this more clearly, all the details. And even you take this, you can see, you can see. You can very close, you take. And even this art, you can see we are close to take that. You know, some people, they like to take the photo in, in water, in the underwater. But with the water dust proofing, the IP68, the maximum two meters, <laughs> the half hour, two meters deep. But if you're more deep water, uh, uh, we, this case, we provide this case, which can maximum about five meters the deep, deep. You can take the photo in the, in the deep in the water. This is a photo taken by this the Mate 20 Pro. And also, if you go vacation in the sea, you can take a photo like this. This is taken. All this photo is taken by the, uh, the Mate 20 Pro in the sea, under sea. So. You know, that's Mate 20. Serious, we have a very powerful AI processor, very powerful NPU. With this powerful AI processor, we can bring you the real-time processing of, of the, the video. So you can do a lot. You, when you take the video, you can have a lot of uh, effect for your selection. You can select. I just show you one of them. Let's see. You can see that very interesting. The ghost uh, is a color, but the background all becoming black and white. So we can, because this strong AI processing power, we can real time to, to change the background to, to make the effect uh, to, for that. Another one, we I show you that so maybe, for example, in this video, the AI processor can identify they have five people in, inside, four kids, one teacher. But this one, with this AI processor, you can select any one of them. For example, this ghost, we can cut out all this ghost video. You can see that. I can select any one of them. If I select the, the teacher, then the, all the, all in the video, all the teacher's video is, will cut out by this AI, AI processor, the NPU. You can do that. You know, that's why, uh, and people ask me, that's why that's this hand have the wide notch. That's because in, on this wide notch, and we have a sophisticated the 3D depth, in, uh, depth sensor inside. So we not only have 24 megapixel 
RGB the camera, but also we have the dot projector, the flood illuminator, and also with the IR camera, and also emulate all the sensor together. together. This 3D sensing can achieve 3D face unlock very quickly. So instant uh, face unlock. And also by this uh, 3D uh, face unlock, we also can do the payment, uh, give you more uh, security uh, for the payment. And also with this 3D uh, camera, front camera system, you can take a better selfie. Let's see that against the backlight selfie, uh, our phones, you can see they're taking better, better selfie. Oh, sorry. I'll show you another one. Uh, the low light situation selfie. You can see that in the low light situation, we also can take the best selfie. You know, with this 3D, 3D uh, camera system, we can help you to support the 3D live emoji with your uh, uh, expressions. So, give you more fun. <laughs> Another thing, you know, is with the front, this 3D uh, camera system, you can make this to, for live object modeling. And you can scan the object. You can make, it the, the, make the object alive. And uh, it's when you can share that on Facebook. I have a video to show you how it works. It works. I'd like to invite my colleague, uh, Steve, make a demo for this. Steve, let's... Uh, <laughs> Thank you, Richard, for the amazing introduction to our 3D live object modeling. So I'm sure everybody here is excited to see it live in action, so let's jump right in. So to start the scanning process, place our objects in front of the 3D camera system. And once the object is located, as you see on a large screen, we're going to start the scanning process. And as I'm rotating the object through the scanning process, you can see that there are green sections being illuminated on the objects, indicating that these are the sections to be scanned. So I'm going to work my way through the front of the object. And with each successful scan, as you see, the green sections will start to disappear. All right, we're making very good progress on the scan, and we're almost there. A couple more sections left on its arms and its legs. All right, good progress there. And once we have a majority of the object scan, we're going to start to build the 3D model on the fly. And this is quite remarkable as we're taking all the data points we have just scanned from the objects a couple minutes ago and building the model on the go. And we're at 80%, 90%. We should be done rather shortly. And ladies and gentlemen, here is the 3D objects from our scan. I'm going to click on the top right corner to save this model. And as Richard mentioned, we can give life to this object. So when we put some life into this character, and what, how we do that is that we are going to do a skeletal mapping of the object based on its head, body, arm, and leg positioning. So I'm going to click Next, which will do exactly that. So what that does is that it gives the objects the ability to have movements and life. And with such a gorgeous stage in front of us, why don't we invite our little panda friend onto the stage in AR mode to perform some actions. So I'm going to give the area in front of me a bit of a scan.
And there's our friend on the stage in AR mode. And we have a list of various actions our little panda friend can do. So why don't we make it exercise and run a bit? Let's take a look. Look at that movement. All right, let's see what else we have here on the menu. Kung Fu moves, this looks pretty interesting. Let's take a look. <laughs> All right, so those precise movements were made possible by the skeletal mapping that we have just done earlier. And besides these actions, we can also control the panda in any direction we like by navigating it. And as the panda is reaching the center of the stage, since it's such a large stage, why don't we size it up a bit and let it enjoy the big stage? All right. I'm sure this panda is having so much fun and would love a good photo opportunity like any one of us. So I want to invite Richard back on the stage next to the panda to snap a photo with the panda. All right. Richard, one, two, three, smile. And Thank you, thank you. And besides taking photos, we can also do a video record with the interaction with the AR object. So what I'm going to do is going to hit the record button and have Richard wave to us alongside the panda. So Richard, would you please give us a wave? You see the panda waving as well? And we're recording this live. And what's really neat about it is that we can take a look at the video we just recorded prior. So Richard, please look at the big screen. And let's play back that video we just recorded. <laughs> For a second. And with such fun moments, I believe everybody would love to share with our friends and families. So we have a nice, easy share button on the bottom right. You can instantly tap on it. Let's share on Facebook. I'm going to type in wow. Share. Share now. And make sure to check out our Huawei mobile Facebook account for this post. All right, this concludes our demo, and we'll hand the stage back to Richard. Thank you, uh, everybody. Thank you. Thank you, Steve. Uh, so the Huawei Mate 20 pri the prices for the 4 gig plus 128 gigabytes, uh, the price is 799 euros, and the 6 plus 128 gigabytes. That's why it's 849 euros. <clears throat> and the Mi 20 Pro, the price is 1,049 euros. It will be available from, it will start to sell this from the 16th today. <clears throat> and the Mi 20X, the price is 899 euros. It will be available from 26th. Of this, of this month. <clears throat> and this is a Porsche Giant Huawei Mate 20IS. The tools for your selection. Okay. <clears throat>